Interesting, isn't it? Because we do know that the Princess Royal, Her Royal Highness Princess Anne, doesn't necessarily agree with everything that His Majesty the King puts forward. We saw that in that recent interview. She doesn't necessarily, for instance, believe in the fact that the monarchy should be slimmed down any further. She openly said that, well, you know, you can't slim it down too much more because there's not of us to go around. And when you think about it, as ever, from the hardest working royal, she speaks a lot of sense. But more importantly now, has Princess Anne truly seen the light? As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning. How are you? Nice to see you on a very wet and windy London today. Hope you're all keeping well, whatever you're doing. And thank you as ever, all brand new subscribers. I have to say we've reached 274,000 at the time of recording this. Incredible when you think, when you think where we started off. So I'm truly grateful to everybody out there that supports the channel. Now, as I say, Princess Anne, has she seen the light? This is because, I don't know if you know this, but one of Princess Anne's true favourite hobbies is none other than lighthouses. Obsessed by them, loves them, a little bit like myself. I don't know whether you know any of our wonderful British lighthouses, but particularly on the east coast of Yorkshire, we have one inland in Withensea. And over a little bit further up the road near Bridlington, Scarborough and uh, Hornsey, we have Flamborough Head. Now I've visited Flamborough Head many times and there has been a lighthouse there for over 274 years. But now it would appear that there's a bit of a battle going on because even the eco-friendly mob have decided that they now need to replace the bulb, that's right, with an eco-friendly bulb. Let me explain. After 217 years, it looks like the dimmer of the 200 watt flashing LED bulb, well, it's been allegedly feared that it could create shipwrecks. Now, I don't know about you, but this isn't the pirate age, is it? But nonetheless, more than 1,150 people have signed a petition demanding the old light be reinstated at the unmanned Flamborough Head Lighthouse in East Yorkshire. They claim that the LED light can't be seen when fog descends and it's likened to a dimmer beam to a bloke waving a torch out to sea. Now, as I say, the Princess Royal truly loves lighthouses. Virtually being, I now think, to every single lighthouse in the United Kingdom and no doubt many around the world. What the Trust of Flamborough Head Lighthouse are looking to do is to see if they could now get her on board for this particular debacle and see if, of course, the power of the Royal Association could get the original light reinstated. Now, whatever you think, of course, Flamborough Head is a very dangerous area. Lots of rocks below. And more importantly, yes, there could be some catastrophes down there, tragedies, dare I say, even in fact. And why bother changing it when you think it's an unmanned lighthouse, not really costing that much other than the daily upkeep of somebody going in to check once or twice a day? So consequently, you can see these local residents' point of view. And more importantly, the safety of, of course, Flamborough and surrounding areas. Now, as I say, they've written to the Princess Royal and are waiting to see if she can shine a light on this particular story. As ever, when I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.